doing this job is what is a hero? Uh, a hero is a man who does what he can. And I think that's pretty much who Rick Grimes is. He's just a guy that keeps putting himself and make it, putting himself forward and making the difficult decisions. And he's been traumatized. Uh, he's lost a lot of people, he's been grief. He went crazy, but I think that a lot of that was to do with how he was processing grief, you know? Um, we're all that, like a personal <laughs> desire. We are excited, yes, just yeah. thinking about it. Se emociona simplemente pensando en matar. So, you want to start with? Um, uh, I think Negan was really well loved in the graphic novels for the fans of that. Um, I think probably I had expected to not be liked, especially after the introduction of, of the character. But I, I've been blown away by the fan reaction. Um, I, the, last, the last couple of weeks on, on this European tour, I mean, I've never done this before. I, I'm not, I've never certainly been with the Walking Dead uh, folks before. And, and, and I knew that this show was such a love show. I really just wanted to come in and not screw it up. One, and, and two, the amount of love that, that I've gotten uh, along. Obviously, these guys are so well loved, it's ridiculous, but it's been mind blowing. Uh, and no, I, I didn't expect that. No, and uh, and it's so beautiful seeing the fan reaction to him because he deserves it now. He su he suffers in exactly the way, same way that we all do, and cares about it in the same way. And um, it's just he's a huge, huge asset. I do want to kill him, <laughs> but it's going to take a long, long time. <laughs> está diciendo, uh, eso siempre son, uh, hicimos eh, anteriormente pues, en esta temporada pues, algún tributo, algún, algún guiño a películas como Melting Man o, o Creep Show, pero uh, esas cosas son cosas que pongo yo ahí personalmente por, para de alguna manera reconocer ese género que fue mi, mis comienzos y el, el género pues, que, me, que me ha dado todo. Las Real Housewives es uh, una buena serie de zombies total. Y por lo tanto, nosotros contamos nuestra historia a nuestra manera, sin tapujos, sin, sin cubrir nada. Eh, obviamente, eh, lo que pasó en el primer episodio fue un momento terrorífico para todos, pero para mí lo más significativo fue el día siguiente, la mañana siguiente, cuando se, se enfrentan ya a la realidad de estas muertes tan ridículas y tan brutales que han sufrido de sus amigos. Para mí eso era uh, lo, lo más clave, el, el momento más clave, pero demuestra que Megan no se anda con chiquitas, que, que va en serio. Uh, I've always been a fan of horror films. Um, my favorite movie growing up was The Exorcist. That was my I mean, even I have nicknames about myself about that movie, but uh, um, I, I don't have any nightmares of zombies, to, to be honest. But you know, I, I did a lot of interviews. Greg was winning all these awards for his special effects and deservedly so. Um, but I kept talking about it in the interviews, and I would say that you know it's the it's the live lost person behind the monster that made them scary. And then I, I turned it into an art show in New York of photographs. So uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't think I have nightmares about this. Uh, I think George Romero. I mean, I think you know he not only started the genre. I was a kid when those movies first came out. But I think in paying homage to that, you have to say then Greg Nicotero and what he's done with this show. I think Walking Dead has not only, it's just changed the game. It has always become this thing now. And I think that is all due to this show and, and the work of this cast and, and Greg and his team. Um, every week he creates something that we've never seen before. Um, we all show up on the set and it's like, what is Greg going to do this episode, you know, with the, um, and I think, I think years from now, a hundred years from now, people are going to be talking about Greg and his team and this show and this cast, like we talk about Romero now. Ok, primero contestó Norman diciendo, yo siempre he sido un seguidor de las películas de terror. 
Uh, de hecho, mi película favorita de todos los tiempos es El Exorcista. Incluso tengo unos apodos que me, me, me he dado a mí mismo uh, que salen de esa película. Pero nunca he tenido pesadillas. Uh, yo creo que, uh, bueno, con Greg, que, que ha tenido tantos premios a lo largo de los años por su trabajo con los... Uh, con los zombies, pues uh, eh, yo creo que él es la persona que está detrás de... Uh, él, él, él ha tenido mucho que ver en, en la promoción de, de, de este género, pero uh, para mí lo que más miedo siempre me ha dado no es el zombie en sí, sino la persona que hay detrás de, esa, de ese zombie, el que había ahí, de hecho me inspiró para una, una exposición de fotografías que hice en Nueva York. Añade Jeff. Uh, bueno, Romero, obviamente, los, sus películas son clásicos y las había visto todas. Pero yo también pienso que Greg Nicotero es el hombre que ha hecho muchísimo. Es el hombre que cambió el juego de los zombies. 